What you're watching now, live pictures coming to you from the Wilson Airport now and route to the EACC headquarters at Integrity Center, just approaching, I believe, Nyayo Stadium. It should be a little bit of a traffic snarl up, but in one of those vehicles is Nairobi County Governor uh, Mike Mbuvi Sonko. He was airlifted from Voi. Uh, according to the EACC, he was arrested whilst trying to escape arrest, um, but airlifted from there, landed at the Wilson Airport just a few moments ago, and now whisked very quickly in that convoy amongst those vehicles, a very able team just tracking and uh, following them to give you this live update uh, on route to the EACC HQ. So in about... Um, Five minutes, and you can see there, uh, even one of the commanders, I believe, the police trying to manage the traffic situation. In about five minutes or even less, they will be at the EACC headquarters. Remember this um, following the uh, directive by the DPP, Nurdin Haji, earlier this morning when he addressed the media directing that he be arrested amongst other officials from the county, uh, and this is to face, uh, to face charges of um, economic crime, willful failure to comply with the law, and conflict of interest. There are several others that are also going to be charged by uh, the Director of Public Prosecutions, including County Secretary Peter Mbogwa, members of the Tender Committee, amongst others. So those live pictures for you. Mike Mbuvi Sonko uh, being led, I believe, to the ESCC or perhaps to court. We will see where this convoy actually does head to because the idea is to charge him, to arraign him in court. Um, so could be heading to the ESCC or to the Milimani Law Court. Um, all of that we will see unfold in just a short while. But remember, uh, this is a matter that has been investigated for some time by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. And in fact, in, in, def in his defense, what Sonko had argued is tried also on his part to allege uh, uh, raising allegations against officials from the EACC and the manner in which they went about conducting investigations and uh, even reading malice he alleged in one of the sentiments and statements he made at some point as these investigations were ongoing so breaking news for you now is that he has been arrested uh, we are following that convoy for you he was arrested about uh, perhaps two three hours ago and this was in voi according to a tweet that was put out by the ethics and anti-corruption commission um, they said ESCC confirms that Nairobi County Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko has been arrested at a roadblock in Voi while escaping arrest. He's been transferred to Nairobi to face charges of corruption and economic crimes. So there is a figure of 357 million shillings uh, that is in question in terms of loss of cash. Uh, by the county of Nairobi. It's part of the allegations and accusations that are being uh, leveled against the governor amongst other officials. And the conflict of interest is that as governor, he did receive money from the county of Nairobi. And uh, that is a conflict of interest charge uh, that he is facing. So this is a case that the DPP, uh, when he read out uh, that statement earlier, said that he had confidence that they had sufficient evidence not only to arrest the governor, but to arraign him in court. So this is um, trying to figure out what road we are on right now. Um, but upper hill it would appear so most likely leading towards the court it would seem Milimani law courts to be arraigned 
Um, and you remember the last time Governor Sonko had been summoned at the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission had quarters at Integrity Center, it was quite a chaotic uh, day and scenes uh, that we brought to you of tear gas, people being, uh, even the water cannons being used by police officers because he'd come with some of his supporters. And again, it was investigations on this particular matter. So these images live for you. Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko arrested to be expected to be arraigned any time from now. And um, there is a statement, it would appear, uh, from the office of the governor. We will uh, be seeking a confirmation whether, in fact, it is him. But uh, according to his people, who've sent out a statement that says, I am ready, we are ready, we have been ready today morning. I learned of the arrest order issued by the Director of Public Prosecution, Rudin Haji, against me and other officers in my administration. I want to confidently state from the onset that I am more than ready for the lawful cause that will help us know the truth. As your leader and an elected governor, I believe in total accountability, especially when it comes to management of public resources. I have read word by word the statement uh, from the DPP that details reasons for my arrest and nothing gives me more confidence than um, living through it, knowing very well we have the facts to dismantle these choreographed lies. Given the fact that we are headed to court, I will not bother you with insights of what I believe is a real story against the shallow work from the EACC and its accomplice, accomplices in this mission. I call upon my supporters and Nairobi residents in particular to be calm as I deal with this temporary insubordination. I assure everyone that I shall not be intimidated and won't be moved an inch into some political traps. In case you're just joining us, I'm reading a statement we have received from the communication head of Governor Sonko's office. Um, and so it is what the governor is saying following the order of his arrest. He's now been arrested and the pictures you're seeing now, a little bit of a traffic snarl up, is the governor, I believe, being whisked away to be arraigned in court, uh, Milimani Law Courts. Um, so the statement continues uh, and says that, uh, I assure everyone that I shall not be intimidated and won't be moved uh, an inch into political traps. I stand for justice and I am more than ready for the court process where I will unleash my armory against these conspirators. As a matter of fact, my quest for justice that puts CSC on the sport of a land grabbing will remain on course. The facts will soon come out and you, the public, will make the right judgment. Lastly, they didn't have to arrest me, is what the governor He's saying in this statement, let the DPP tell me which court we are going to as soon as possible, and I will be there on time. Reports from ACC that I was arrested while trying to run away are another proof that the body is so much interested in playing politics. Why would I run away? To where and to do what? I am a Kenyan who is always on the move, doing what's good for the people. I was on my way to Mombasa to attend a closed workshop, which was uh, attended by my people. Lastly, they... Um, I beg your pardon, I was overwhelmingly elected by Nairobians, have never skipped any ACC invite, and those from uh, those other authorities, we have the platform we needed to shed more light on the issues. So that is a statement from Governor uh, Sonko. Um, those images of the governor being uh, driven from Wilson Airport, now I believe to be taken to court where he's expected to be arraigned over corruption charges, conflict of interest, economic crimes. He's uh, facing these charges alongside other officials in the county. Uh, uh, county officials in trouble also include uh, County Secretary Peter Mbugwa, members of the tender committee Patrick Mwangangi, Samuel Ndongo, Edwin uh, Karaoke, Lawrence Mwangi, Preston Miriti, among others. So we'll continue with our coverage of this. Um, actually, it is um, the ESCC, those very famous revolving doors is where they ended up going. Uh, so the ESCC headquarters is where, in fact, he has first been taken. 
And I imagine after that, uh, of course, we will await to see what unfolds next. But this is a matter that the ESCC has been investigating for some time. Remember, the governor has been there before to record statements with the commission and the DPP in his statement saying that when he received that report uh, from the ESCC on what they've been invest investigating, he was confident that uh, what he had received after perusing through the same, there was sufficient evidence to warrant not only the arrest, but the prosecution and arraignment in court of the Nairobi governor, Mike Mbuvi Sonko. So we'll keep you updated with this story throughout the day as we get more updates. The governor definitely saying in that statement that we have received from his office that the EACC did not arrest him. They should just have told him which court to appear to. He continues to say that he is confident that he will be able to, in his own words, dismantle the case that may be put uh, forward against him and all of the allegations leveled against him and confident of the mandate that he has been given by the people.